to do a clothing haul for my kids and this is for fall and winter so this is really spontaneous I'm not wearing any makeup or anything but this morning when I woke up I was checking my emails and I saw that once upon a child was having um, well it's tax-free weekend here in South Carolina and then they were also doing 20% off your whole entire order and so I actually had on my to-do list to go to once upon a child soon to get some of their fall and winter stuff if you don't know once upon a child is a consignment store and basically if you don't go in at a right the right time then a lot of their stuff is like a lot of their good stuff is gone so I had it on my list to go soon for the fall and winter stuff but then when I saw that email I was like oh we have to go today and they were only only open from 12 to 5 so we rushed over there and I tried to get as much as I could get but they were really crowded in there and then the kids were kind of getting crazy so I got some stuff but I'm gonna have to go back probably um, again but the other good thing about Once Upon a Child is they give you a little coupon card thing and for every ten dollars that you spend they stamp it and then I can't remember how many stamps you have to get but after a certain amount of stamps then you can get 20% off your order again and I have I filled up two of those so I can go back twice now and get 20% off my order again I had to get mostly stuff for Jackson he does not have any fall or winter clothes at all he doesn't have any pants he doesn't have any socks his shoes are getting too small he doesn't have any long sleeve shirts and then he has a few jackets already so he basically needed everything and then Piper I'm not quite sure what size she's gonna be in that's the only issue right now she is in still newborn and zero to three but it's still hot outside and then she's gonna be six months in December and then it still stays cold till like March it was kind of hard to decide what she needed which is why I might need to go back plus I don't know exactly what we have from Jane so I only got a few things for Piper and then they didn't have much for Jane's size there and again I kind of need to go through all of Jane's clothes from last winter I did notice that a lot of her pants fit in the waist but they're way too short now and so she probably needs all new pants and then um, same with her shirts her the sleeves fit but then the shirts are really short on her because she has a long torso so I'm pretty sure she probably needs a lot of stuff too but I only got her like two or three things but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna show you guys everything I got and how much it costs but remember that these are 20% off of these prices as well so everything was a really good deal so we're just going to start with Jackson. Jackson is wearing like 18 month shirts and 12 month pants right now. So I got him 18 month everything, I'm pretty sure. Um, the pants might be a little bit long when it comes time, but I'd rather them be long than short. So we'll just have to see what happens. But I got him this little pair of jeans. They look long. They are Gap. 18 months and this was these were 750 again 20% off of that and I like these gap pants because they have this little cinch thing in the back you can like cinch it up and right now it's on the tightest see how it like groups in the back so if it you can make it bigger in the waist or smaller in the waist so I liked those I was willing to pay a little bit extra for those that cinched up and then I got him this pair from Gap as well. Same has a little cinch, but they were like a different color. Kind of. Were they a different color? And these were $7.50 as well, 18 months. And then I found these Chaps khakis. I couldn't find any pants that I really liked for him, but it was it was hard. Um, these are 18 month, $7.50 as well. Once I try these on Jackson, I might go back and decide on some other stuff because I don't really know exactly what, look how different these are. Like these are the khakis and these are the pants. But I don't know exactly what size he wears or not. So I only got those three things. And then I also got him two pairs of sweatpants. When we're at home, I don't want him to have to be like constricted in these like jean kind of pants but I don't want to put leggings on him either. So I kind of just decided to get these. These look gigantic, but they're 18 month little sweatpants with the cinch at the bottom. They were 450 and they're Joe Boxer brand. And these are a little bit more soft and a darker color. 
and they're 250 carters, 18 months. So I thought that would be nice if we're just staying home for the day or just going out somewhere where he doesn't have to be dressed up too much. He can wear this with like a little jacket or something and be comfortable. I got him this little sweater. Like I said, he already has like three or four jackets in 18 month size. So hopefully he'll be good on jackets. This is Gap 18 months and it was 550, but it was really cute. And then I got him this nicer sweater for maybe church or something, just plain gray that'll match with a lot. If you guys know me, you guys have been watching me for a while, I am not a big character design person. Usually I go for plain colors so that we can mix, mix and match more. I feel like I only need like a few staple things and then you can like put this with khaki pants, put this with jeans, put this with something else, you know, so if it doesn't have a bunch of stuff on it, you can match it with more things if that makes sense. So this is Gap and it was 7.50. He's pretty much not wearing onesies anymore only because we don't have onesies that are in his size and it's kind of hard to put onesies on him these days. But this still has a tag on it from Old Navy and so clearly nobody wore this. But it was, it's 18 to 24 months and it is from Old Navy like I said and it was 4.50 and I just thought it was really cute with these green bears on it. Um, sometimes these are easier to wear like with pants that way his shirt doesn't ride up and he can stay warmer And then you can put like a little jacket over it. So I thought that was cute This I just got because Chris and Jane are kind of into Star Wars and Jackson has no idea what Star Wars is But I thought this was cute. Just a little shirt. It's a little lighter weight So this will be good for like the fall or even the springtime and it has all the I don't know these characters But I know it's Star Wars and it is a random brand right yeah it just says star wars on it so maybe this is from like disney world or something 18 months and it was 450. if you guys have been watching me for a while i always get my kids gap sweaters piper's gonna be wearing jane's hand-me-down gap sweaters and then jackson has his he had one last year but he is grown out of it i thought this one was cute because it has the stripes in the inside and then we'll need to get jane one for this year if hers doesn't fit hers from last year was a little bit big so it might still fit but this is 18 months from gap and it's 750. this i thought was a really cute lightweight uh shirt with a little hoodie on it like i said this will be good where it's really hot here so even in the fall time these are nice to wear like it's still a long sleeve shirt but not like too thick or anything this is a cherokee brand 18 months and it was 350. and then we got him this from gap 18 months it is 550 just a little long sleeve shirt and lastly chris picked this out it's not long sleeves but he liked it because it had the beetles on it all you need is love he can even wear this with a um, jacket or something in the winter time 18 months and it was 250 this actually looks like it would fit him now that is all that i got for jackson so he's definitely going to need some more stuff Probably some more long sleeve shirts, definitely some more pants. He doesn't have any socks, like I said, or any shoes. So we still have to get a few things for him, but this will get us started, definitely. Lots of stuff there. So we're gonna move on to Jane, cause like I said, I only got her a few things, mainly because we were kind of rushed to get out of there and I shopped for her last, but also because I'm not exactly sure, here she is, I'm not exactly sure what she needs or what size she is like i said i held up some um some leggings to her before we left and her leggings were 3t from last year and a lot of them looked really really short like they weren't going to be long enough at all and so i automatically thought oh she's in a 4t then but then i looked at these jeans and they are so long here let me hold these up to you that's coffee don't drink that that's coffee yeah these are going to be really long on her but maybe we can do like a little cuff at the bottom or something and maybe towards the end of the or we can cut it or we can cut it uh, maybe towards the end of winter they'll fit more she is getting tall real fast but these are oshkosh they are 550 and like i said they are 4t these are lucky brand 4t and they were ten dollars probably because it's lucky brand but hopefully we can get some wear out of these since they were ten dollars but i thought they were cute a little bit lighter than the other colors and then i got her this this little shirt with the polka dots i thought it was really cute kind of like a loose fitting top it is preschool it says pre oh no carters this is actually a 5t i did not know that so hopefully this fits her 
um, $350. Our Once Upon a Child has Gamecock clothes and Clemson clothes because we live in South Carolina and we're really big Gamecock fans. So we always like going there to get Gamecock gear because a lot of Gamecock clothes can be really expensive, especially if you're getting it for a kid that's only going to wear it for like one football season and that's it because they grow so fast. So we found this for Jane. It's a little cheerleading outfit. She has another cheerleading outfit that we're gonna have to give to Piper because it doesn't fit her anymore. But this is just a little dress and it comes with the little bloomers. Hopefully this fits her. I think it, it's a 4T. It might be a little bit short on her because she's so tall. But with this underneath and then maybe we'll do like black shorts or something if it gets way too short. But football season's only a few months long so this will be really good for her I think. So that's all we got for Jane. Like I said, for Piper, I have no idea what size she's gonna be in, so I didn't wanna spend too much money or get too many things and then not wear any of it because it was too big, or she's like way grown out of these things, or she might not need all these things because we still need to go through all of Jane's old clothes. So we only got her a few things that I found. One was definitely a Gamecock thing. She already has, I think, a few onesies from when Jane was little. And so she didn't need that much, but this one will be like towards the end of the season and will probably be big on her, but it was really cute. Not too expensive. It is six to nine months. So she's six months in December and, and football season is over in November. So this, like I said, will be big, but it is 450. Let me take that back. Football season is not over in December. It's usually over in January. The Gamecocks probably will not make it to January. So it'll be over in November for us, I'm sure. I hate to say that, but it's true. I got these cute leggings. Look how cute they are. Then this like purple lavender color with these fox on them. They're size six to nine months from Old Navy and they were 350. To me, these look gigantic. They grow so fast in the first year, so it's hard to decide. These also look gigantic, but I thought they were really cute. These pants. They are Gymboree, size three to six months. So I got some three to six and some six to nine. 750, these little flowers on them. It's not necessarily like a wintery with this color. It's more like springtime. I also got her these little jeggings. So they're stretchy, but they kind of look like jeans in this cute coral color. These are from Carter's, they're six months and well, the tag says six months, but this tag from the place says three to six, but, and they were $1.50. So again, I can always roll these up too if they're too long. I also got these cute leggings with the flowers. You can just put this with a few different color plain shirts or plain onesies. And these are Carter's six months and $1.50 as well. And then I got her just some plain gray and they're kind of like cuffed up at the bottom little leggings these look a little bit big um a dollar fifty three to six months but i'm sure it says, yeah it says six months on here that kind of makes me mad that they put three to six on here and put it in the three to six section but these say six months so i said i wasn't really into characters and i'm not but this shirt was so cute i could not pass it up and i thought she would look really cute in it with some leggings and some boots and this is six to nine months so to me she'll probably be wearing this in the springtime of next year and it was 350 but look at how cute this little it's like a girl snoopy does she have a name i don't know but i thought this would be cute with like yellow or pink leggings or black leggings with a cute bow looks gigantic for her but like i said she will grow into it i got this cute onesie with this cute tribal looking pattern on it this is carter's brand six to nine months again the tag says nine months i should have paid more attention to this because nine months she's gonna be nine months when it's starting to get hot again 250 so really i paid whatever 20 percent off of 250 was so if she ends up not wearing it then i can always give it to somebody else none of my siblings have had kids yet so a lot of these clothes i can hand down you know, all, all of Jane's clothes I can ha hand down to Piper. And then all of Jackson's clothes and then all of any Piper's clothes that she goes through now can be handed down to many different siblings and friends. And then um, I got her this cute one with the roses on it. And it has some buttons down. Cute little onesie. And it is 450 Oshkosh. 
six to nine months. And then lastly, I just got her this jacket. I need to see what kind of jackets she has from when Jane was little. But this one's just this cute little purple color, plain so it can match pretty much anything with the hood. And it is six to nine months from Old Navy and it was $3.50. So really good deal on these. Where we live, this is basically as thick of a jacket as you need. She might need to wear like gloves or even like a little hat up underneath this hoodie. But if she's wearing a long sleeve shirt and then this over it, she'll be warm enough where we live because it does not get that cold. Okay, so that is all the clothes that we got. All of that that I just showed you was, I think, $100 is all I spent on all of that. So that is a really good deal. Like I said, there's plenty more that my kids probably need for the fall and the winter. So I will probably be doing another haul closer to fall and winter or even during fall and winter when I go back. But I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!